classes in session the professor is in. We got Cowboy Bob Arton, and we got him with a basement build. We're going to take him to the basement. How low can you go? How low can he hit? We do have two moments on him, and I can't take the second one off. What I did want to showcase was the Summer of Champions moment. It is on the prize wall. Multiply gems are going to increase. Botch color turn. His gems are going to get 100% more gem damage. He's going to receive 50% less from all color gems, and important for us, 100% for move damage. So that's what we're going to do right here. We're also on the Twitch right now. This is live from the Twitch. You can see the chat in the corner there. If you're not here on Twitch with me, you're missing out on giveaways. Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. specifically Eastern time, as well as Fridays at 12 noon Eastern and specific time. So if you're there, you have a chance to go for a giveaway. So you better come join on my streams in the in the link tree in the description. You can find how to get to my channel. But we're going to take Cow Bob, and we're going to go see what he can do. We're going to run him two ways. Um, as I said, we're going bargain basement. I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, no plates, no metals, nothing. All we're going to do is put a basic 20% move on him because he's more move damage based. And we're just going to see how hard we can hit. We're going to go with the blue vertical suplex to make green gems. We're going to do the running uppercut to make green pyros on the bottom row. And then we're going to turn the other ones into blue and start it all over again. Now, because he does less damage from a color gems uh, with the new moments, um, we're going to put Honky Tonk Man here, but you can also put someone to get blue MP, and then anybody that can do green gem damage, you can put Santa Hogan here if you have him, or we can also put, let me see if we have someone who does flat green damage, that's green move damage, so someone who does green move damage, like a green finisher, if you have Nightheart, probably still a little bit rarer, but I think it's King Seamus. Uh, you can also put him in there. But we're just going to see what we do. It's Z-Edge. There you go. Bro should know these things. Too many characters. You get the idea. Let's go see what he can do, and then we're going to show what you can do with him with just an assassin build against powerhouses. Appreciate that, Philly Big Dog. Appreciate you, bro. So how do we play him? We're going to make a three by six. We do not want to get out of our turn. So we're just going to break six. That has the least amount of chance for cascading. And that one almost cascaded us out of our turn. All right. He has 28 million health. Put that along the bottom. And then the finisher. And... Blow up all the greens. Nice little cascade. So that did about 6 million at 6-star silver. Just the basic, basic. So then you can see we can probably do that every single turn. Obviously, you add plates and metals on there. You're going to do a ton more damage. So 6 million, not terribly bad. We are going to put on... Yeah, those are the, the better green move coaches for sure. ZM Acro, the Acro Truth, Hall of Fame DDP. But those guys don't live in the basement. <laughs> Those guys live in different floors of the house, right? They're they're a little bit rare. So we're going to try this with a little bit less rare stuff in that sense. All right, the other way, is, so this is if you're going against a non-powerhouse, but if you are going up against a powerhouse, you're better off running triple green. Yeah, some of them are in the penthouse, that's for sure. Entourage-wise over here, now we're going to try something a little bit different. We need to get all of our green moves going turn one so what we'd actually would do uh, we would actually change the other way around we wouldn't be able to do this without a lot of extra help which we don't have so we're not going to use double green mp trainers you would switch out these moves you would go back to the vertical suplex we'd hit the power slam make the immobile gems and then hit the suplex so that way we get that extra gem that extra move damage of 750 percent so that way we can take our uh, powerhouse so we can just leave this all the same. And we can just put move damage somewhere if we wanted to. All right, let's bro. Bring in the other one. Ta-da! Blurps are turned off as we record. So my apologies to Telvin. All right, so we'll do the same as we did before. Three by three fill up our moves 
And now we're going to get that extra 750% for two turns. So the second time we run through this, we get even more power. And then we're going to choose a 7x2. Try to break gems that are going to make a cascade somewhere, like this cascade with blues, to refill our blue gems again. So we can run this. Oh, it turns it all blue anyways. I forgot about that. So that did 10 million. So at the very basic, at the very lowest of levels, you can see that he was still going to be very good against his own weight class, so especially six silver against another six silver. And then once you bring him up to gold and you start adding in the different plates and the metals, if you checked out my other video on him, you'll see how well he can do with these new moments right there. Y'all, thanks for coming to class. That is The Basement with uh, Cow Bob. Check out the other video so you can see what he does at the highest of levels, and you'll be somewhere probably in between. Thanks for coming to class. Thanks for joining me near the basement. That sounded awkward. And now we're going to end this. Professor out.